to be very careful with that. Well, North Carolina schools have been flooded with threats of mass violence over the past year. The Department of Public Safety says there were about 200 threats in just the last year alone, and now the state's task force for safer schools is addressing this crisis head on. CBS 17's Gilad Malamud is live for us tonight with the work that local districts are doing to try to make schools as safe as they can. This is a list of recommendations that a school safety task force in Orange County just approved this evening. The County Board of Commissioners will vote on it around September. Part of school safety starts with stopping threats. Evan Trudzinski says his freshman year at Cedar Ridge High School. It was just that year, that fall, for some reason there was a lot of threats. And, you know, as a young freshman, it was just kind of scary to be at school while that's going on. That's why he joined Orange County's school safety task force. Being at school is very important to learn and everything, and you can't do that if you don't feel safe. Members of law enforcement are part of the task force along with county commissioners, school leaders, and community members. The panel approved its final record recommendations Thursday, which include an annual safety summit, quarterly safety meetings between schools and law enforcement, and clearly defining the role of SROs. Based on the recommendations, we're looking to enhance our safety measures even more and also align with Orange County. I think that was part of the goal of the task force was to make sure that the county government and the two school systems were uh, better aligned. School threats across the state are rising. And it's important for us to emphasize to young people that this is not a joke. The state's task force for safer schools chair William Lassiter says out of the more than 1,100 school threats in North Carolina last year, 11% were threats of mass violence. A new SBI unit evaluates threats. In these days and times, um, it's, it's very important that we take every threat seriously and that we investigate it and make sure that it is either a legitimate threat or was a, a joke that a kid was making. Beyond threats, the state say something anonymous tip line received more than 10,000 uh, tips last year. The top tip category was cyberbullying and bullying. Now, that number does not include the state's largest school district, Wake County, because they use their own anonymous tip system. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malam, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilat, thank you.